Let's take a look at a program called Moving Border X for your Casablanca video editor from Macro System. The Moving Border X software is a program that's just made for Bogard SE machines, so this won't work on any of the older SE products. The Moving Border X is simply a filter that's used in the image pool that applies animations to borders around video scenes. Let's take a look at how this is used. In the edit menu, we can find the Moving Border X program either within the special section down here which affects just your scene bin, or if you're in the image processing menu where you can apply a filter to the top of the storyboard. The Moving Border X program is found in the lower section of this list if you're in special. So we have the two alphabetical lists for the upper section and then the white line for the lower section showing you all of your image processing filters. And here's Moving Border X. It's a very simple program to use. You'll find that it's very easy. Over to the right we just have a few commands. First is the Select Border. Under Select Border this is going to basically bring up your image pool so you'll be able to see the images within the Moving Border X product. You'll see that we have 25 animations stored in here that you can use. Each one of these different thumbnails is going to be a different type of animation that applies around your video scene. And you can see the little area here with black indicates where your video image would appear. Over to the right you can see a larger preview of what kind of image we're going to be working with. You can do the standard things that you're used to with image pools such as colorizing this image or using the modes for positive or negative to flip the positive or negative imagery on it. And you can also make it transparent with your slider. Right now we're just going to pick a random animation here with a video scene in your scene bin. We'll go ahead and use this film strip. The position border here, this is going to allow you to size and position how much of the border is going to fill up on your scene. And we see right now I've actually picked a black scene in the scene bin, so I'm going to come back out and choose a video clip here of some ski footage. I've got a shot here of chairlift. It's a rather short clip, mainly on purpose just to show you how quick the animation is. So I'm going to come back in and go into select border. I'm good with the film strip and in position now we'll see our video scene here in a full size preview so I can set the position and the size of how much of this moving border X is going to fill the screen. Right now with a standard definition project I've got this set up to the maximum size of the standard definition size. The X raster and the Y raster this comes with the Bogart 4 software this allows you to use your positioner so that when you position your box here on the screen this is going to give it a kind of a grid so that it snaps to grid points on here. When this number is set really low then the box will move around on the screen really smooth. If you increase these sizes then the position when you use it I'll go ahead and show you this. If I set my size for my border on here now this is going to snap. It's not going to be as smooth. So I'll put it up in the upper left hand corner which is what you're going to do in most cases is put the starting position up there and then set the size to fill the whole screen. We also have two additional options. One is a fader. And this is going to make the border fade in or fade out on your image and then speed control. The speed is going to have a drop down option here to set this at its normal speed at 100% or you can make it go down a little slower so it's 50% at speed, 25% and even add smoothing controls. We're going to leave it set to 100%. When you hit OK in Special, this is going to render the Moving Border of X, Moving Border X animation across your video clip. And then we'll have a new layer of that same scene in the scene bin with the border applied to it. So now here's the clip with the animation around it. I'm going to pick a little slightly longer clip here in the scene bin. We'll do a little downhill clip of the snowboard. Here's our scene. Yay! And then we'll go ahead and go into the special menu and we'll pick another border. This time we'll go in and we'll select a different type of animation. You can see every time you come in here, if you ever want to just take a look at one, just hit OK and come out to preview and take a look at it. Sometimes the preview is not going to give you a great display because it's compressed. If you want to check it in full size, then just go in here to, to the position border and set up your size and you'll be able to see it in here under full size as well. Bogart 4 gives you your little preview box in here so you can see the animation too. If I don't like that border I can come into select border choose a different one. 
I might choose this generic square one. Always check your position because the default of this might not, ne might not necessarily fill the whole screen. And we can set position so the size fills the whole image. On this one, I'm going to set a fade so you can see how the fade works. So I'll set up a one second fade. And I'm going to drop my speed down so it's about 50%. Now we'll go ahead and render. You'll notice there's the fade. So the border fades in. The speed's going to be slightly slower for how this animation goes. And we'll let this go across and then play it to see the final result. it fades out at the end as well. So now when I hit play, there's the fade in. The moving border on this one, that was very hard to see what was going on there because it wasn't really a high animation border. Let's try a different one. I'm going to select border. We're going to do something a little more visual. This one's got some moving color lines around it. It's kind of an interesting effect. I'm going to show you another little creative thing you can do with it too. But on this one, we'll come in here and we're going to again set the position border. Make sure it fills the maximum size of the screen. I'm going to set my speed to 50% smooth and go ahead and hit OK. Now we'll definitely see something going on here. This particular border's got these moving colors going around the screen along with a shaded border around the side. Once we get to the end of this clip, you'll also see this fade out. There it goes. And now here's your clip with your animation around it. If we thought that animation was still too fast, then go right back to your original clip. You can delete the new one. Go back to the original. And under special, just simply change your speed. A couple little th neat things you can do here. Let's say we create a black scene and use that same animation. This is kind of neat. Now it looks like these little dots, colored lines, are moving around all over the screen, kind of fluid. But with, since we don't have a picture in the middle, this kind of blends in together. And then maybe you might use this scene for putting something down like a picture in picture. So we could put a picture in picture on top of this scene with this going on behind it. So you can kind of mix your moving borders along with some other types of scenes, maybe making colors match to give you a different type of scene effect that you might use in a different way. So the Moving Border X, again, is an animated image processing image pool option that you can put around the borders of your video scenes that will actually have movement or animation to it. You might want to check it out. It's a nice uh, large size file. You'll need a DVD if you download it off the website because it is a complex animation program. And it'll work on standard definition and high definition clips. Check it out, the Moving Border X from Macrosystem US.